Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, welcome to the Lux Audience Award. I am very pleased to welcome the directors and the producers of the three powerful films shortlisted for this year's Lux Audience Award. I sincerely congratulate them and you for your film's work studied uh, already, and rightly so, with glory and uh, success. We are honoured that our partners from the European Film Academy, the European Commission and Europe Cinemas could join us too. I truly hope that you will remember your nomination for the Lux Audience Award as something unique in a prolonged cinematic career going forward. This Lux Audience Award is unique. It is the only cinema prize awarded by a parliament. Both members of the European Parliament as well as European citizens are allowed to cast their vote from across 27 European Union member states. Nominated Lux Award films are subtitled in 24 languages, screened over 400 times in all the European Union member states, and multiple debates are organised around them between cinema lovers members of the European Parliament and film industry professionals. With the Lux Audience Award, the European Parliament shows its support for European creativity and excellence in filmmaking. And the European Parliament stands clearly for freedom of expression in film, for directors, storytellers and authors alike. The Lux Audience Award builds bridges between our political work and the creative work of filmmakers in Europe. Lux films echo through art the sentiment of the fight for civil rights, human rights, justice, democracy and freedom. And it is wonderful that many of Lux Audience Award winners from 2021 as well as from 2022 are with us here today in Strasbourg. The three Lux Award nominees share a common message, the struggle for freedom, a fundamental value of the European Union. I welcome Jonas Poher Rasmussen, director of Flea, who presents the incredibly moving film that tells the extraordinary but true story of Amin, a child refugee from Afghanistan who escapes his country in order to live in freedom. This extremely touching story makes us wonder how many Amins are out there seeking to flee injustice and persecution. I welcome Sebastian Meisser, director of Great Freedom, who shows us that the end of World War II was not a liberation for everyone. Criminal law outlawed homosexuality in the years following 1945. This film pays homage to all those who fought discrimination based on sexual orientation and who wished to live in freedom. I welcome Yasmina, Yasmila Zbanic, director of Kuova de Zaida, who offered another view on the suffering of people during the 1995 Srebrenica genocide. This film is a strong call for justice for the women and mothers of Srebrenica who witnessed the atrocious killing of over 8,000 loved ones. Such horrendous atrocities and such a crime against humanity must never be forgotten. And ladies and gentlemen, may I invite you to applaud here with us today the president of the Association of the Mothers of Srebrenica and a survivor of the genocide, Ms. Munira Subasic. We are honored. We are honoured, truly honoured, that you can be here with us today in this house of democracy and freedom. All three shortlisted films draw from historical events, but their subjects are extremely topical today, as we know too well about the disasters of an ongoing war in Ukraine and the plight of displaced people forced to flee for their safety at the risk of falling victims of other horrors on land and at sea. Ladies and gentlemen, dear directors, be assured that the message of your powerful films has been received and that the European Parliament will always be with you on the side of liberty, freedom 
and human rights. You are an inspiration to the world of film. Thank you for what you do.